I'm actually not sure now what is what. I'm actually not sure what is what. That's great, isn't it? Midlife Dolly Crisis. So today is um, a bit of a different video in that I'm going to be looking at something that I bought off AliExpress. So I hadn't ordered stuff from AliExpress for quite a while. When I first started to order from them it was during lockdown, the first the first lockdown we had here in Ireland which was, oh god it must be two years ago now, maybe two years, I don't, I don't know. Time is just weird. I also, the older you get, the quicker it goes, and it's like, where was that? Oh, that was your life. Great, thanks. Um, so anyway, um, I've got this to open. This is from Express. So basically, I ordered this um, at the same time that I'd ordered other items, and they basically consolidated everything into one envelope, which is kind of new to me, because they didn't used to do that. Uh, I would basically order kind of fake blies and, and clothes for the blies and stuff like that when I originally started ordering. Um, and... I, they, the items would come separately rather than let's stick them all in one in one big envelope um, or bag or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so at the beginning of the year I unboxed a mystery doll which was gifted to me by the lovely Kim at Whimsy's World and that was a, if you don't want to know, stop the video now, um, although you've probably seen the title already so that's probably ruined it anyway. Essentially, it was a Snap Stars doll, and although I was unsure to begin with what I thought of the Snap Star dolls, once I'd restyled her, I actually did really like her, um, and it was my intention to get a second Snap Star doll. Um, but I wasn't really sure which one to get, and they became a little harder to get hold of, apart from the one that I had, which is like, she must be the most common one, because... She's everywhere and she's always on sale. Um, so I looked on AliExpress and I actually had them. I think I came across them by accident. I don't think I was specifically looking for these dolls. But because you look at other dolls, they kind of come with all sorts of stuff. So you could order a random one. Um, and I don't really know what she's going to come with. I don't know if she's going to come with clothes. I don't know if she's going to come with the wig. I, I'm not sure. But essentially she's, she's here. This is her. She's kind of, I hope she's all right. I think she's on her knees in this because they're very poseable. So I suppose they could get her into a little little bag. So so this is her. We're going to see which one it is. Um, I've already kind of decided if it's the same one that I've got, there are things that I can do to her to make her not look like the first one. So the first one I got was Echo. Um, and I will show you her when we go table down, because I don't have her with me at the moment, and she's in a box somewhere. I, I will find her. I will find her when I film that bit. Um, but yeah, if I get Echo again, then, um, as I say, there are things that I can do to make this one look different to the first one. So yeah, we'll see which one that is. It's kind of exciting and scary all at the same time. But um, I hope you will come on this journey with me, because I'll be quite lonely if it's just me. Um, so yeah, um, I will see you um, camera down, and we'll have a look and see which which one this is. It's like a blind, well it is a blind bag. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited, and I'm not so sure as well. I'm also not sure this bit, how long this video is going to be. It probably won't be that long, so it'll probably be like three minutes and it's over. But anyway... Um, yeah, so let's have a look and see what we think. Okay, so I thought before we actually had a look at my mystery doll here, we would have a quick look at the original doll that I had. So, um, this is her after I kind of did her up. So, the dolls come with wigs. Uh, this is her without the wig. 
I kind of like the hair like this actually. So the wig is, is this one here. I will put it back on her head just so you can actually see her with it. First of all, let me take these bits off her. So um, these shoes were actually Barbie shoes, which I think I had in the advent calendar and they actually fit her really well. Because these dolls are so well articulated, they've got like ankle um, joints and they've got wrist joints. They're, they're basically really very po well posable. You know, they are, they can even touch their own face and things like that. So, so they're, 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 they're really well articulated. Um, so obviously because she had the ankle thing, I was able to get these shoes on her. So that's those. This little dress I did feature, I think, in one of the videos. It was kind of one of those sort of 60s dresses. I'm not, I can't remember now who it was that made it, but I will try and remember and um, put it on screen. But yeah, I thought this was a really cute dress on her. It's a little bit big, because originally this was a Blythe dress. It was, it was made for the Blythe dolls. And the bodies on on these dolls, these Snapstar dolls, are actually quite skinny. Uh, and they're actually, they're not that tall either. If I put her next to a Cindy doll, for instance, she's, she's a lot shorter. So that kind of gives you a bit of comparison there with, with the heights. So yeah, so so the dress is not a perfect fit. But for me, I, I, I liked it. I thought the shape was really nice in her and I love the colours. I did team it with our favourite handbag, but again, this is the one that we got from um, the advent calendar, the Barbie advent calendar, the same place that we got the shoes from. And finally, these sunglasses, which are orange and have flames on the side, these were from the first Barbie Extra Mini, which I opened, which was the blue haired girl from the Wave 1. And these glasses actually just, I really I really think the glasses made the whole outfit. For me, I, I, I just really liked the way that it all went together. The earrings were the ones that she came with. I thought they kind of still worked. And yeah, they're, 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 they're quite nice. They're kind of just like a dangly one. And they're, they're sort of soft plastic. So, so yeah, that, that was her. These are some of the original bits that she came with. So she came with the wig. Let me put the wig on and then you can see what she looks like with the wig. So obviously they've got this kind of moulded on hair as well, but it's it's quite closely formed. It's not like a big bulky thing. Like I know some of the Colour Reveal dolls when they first came out, the Barbie Colour Reveal dolls, they had moulded on hair, but it was kind of too bulky so that the wigs look weird on top. So she has a hole in the back of her head, which um, you can clip the peg into. Allegedly, you can get rid of that peg into it. It does, it does, it does go in because it's been in. Maybe her body's now rejecting the wig because she doesn't like it. There we go, it kind of clips in. To me, the wig doesn't work on her. I think because you can see the outline of the painted on hair, it just looks like it's kind of sitting on there. I think if she'd had like a fringe, it would have been better because you then you wouldn't see kind of the plastic outline that's around the edge. It also has got tinsel in it and I'm not really sure what I think about tinsel a lot of the time with the wigs. So that was the wig. Um, these were her original shoes, which are, which are fine, but they did keep coming off a lot, which is kind of annoying. So that's those. She also had this little handbag, which is tiny. But also the design of this kind of matches the earrings as well. So that's, that's not bad. And this was the dress. So the dress, um, it had the kind of this neck clip thing, which goes in that bit and then it goes around her neck. The dress is okay. It's not, it's not my favourite thing. It's very kind of, it feels very cheap. It's that kind of crinkly material. I like the colours of it. I like the fact that it's got kind of all the different colours inside it. The design of the dress I don't like so much. It's got obviously this long train bit and then it goes shorter at the front. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the dress. As I say, I like the colours, but the design I, I didn't like. Um, it also feels quite cheap, which I'm not really that that keen on that. But I think she looks good after her makeover. Let's take this, this wig off, because I'm not keen on it. So 
so yeah so that is that is her let's get rid of these bits here put her to one side and we'll see who we've got so as I, as I said um if I do end up with the same doll which is likely it could happen I think there are certain things that I could do to her to make her look different to this one in that I might be able to paint her hair or you know depending on if she comes with a wig I might be able to style the wig differently you know there are there are other options but also as I say this doll was was quite cheap I suppose because you don't know which one you're getting and these are not new dolls so so yeah so let's go ahead and open this and see who we've got I feel like there should be a drum roll Okay, so I'm already seeing um, dark coloured hair, so at least I know it's not, well, I'm presuming it's not the same one. It could be the same one, but with a different wig on. Um, but let, let's see, who have we got in here? Oh, it's mysterious, isn't it? Look, how mysterious is it? Ooh, let's put that to one side. She's wearing an outfit as well, so I don't want to worry too much about dolly nudity. Okay. Now, I have to be honest, I probably won't know the name of this doll. She's also, looks like she's been through the wars a bit. So she's very pretty actually, really pretty. So her skin tone is a bit darker than Echo's and whereas obviously Echo had blue hair, this one has a brunette hair and again, this is a wig which might also be coming off, I'm not sure. Um, let me give her hair a bit of a brush and then we'll have a proper look at her. Here we go, so she's looking a little bit less sort of disheveled. The hair actually has a really nice kind of style to it. I just think it's annoying that you can still see kind of like the um, the plastic bit there. I, I wonder if there's any way you can kind of disguise it or cut it or, or something. Because I actually don't mind the hair on her. It kind of looks less wiggy, I think because the hair kind of comes down rather than it kind of being sort of pulled back and you can literally see everything. Also it kind of almost fits her head better because you can't see the kind of the underneath bit which is, is painted on. Um, if we take this off. Oh. Okay, so if we take that off, her kind of like her painted on hair frames her face a bit better in that it's a bit higher. So, you know, you don't necessarily see it sort of poking through. So, I'm not sure which doll this is. At first I thought, oh, is it Izzy? Because there's Izzy and there's Dawn, and both of them are darker skinned. Dawn looked like she had much darker skin than this. But I'm not 100% sure because the faces don't seem to match up either. So I'm I'm not sure. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments down below. I am actually quite pleased with her. I'm very pleased that she's not a repeat. Um, I'm pleased that I've now got a friend for, for Echo. And I'm pleased that her colouring is different as well, rather than her just being the same doll or whatever. I also, although I'm not a huge fan of the outfit, it could have been a lot worse. At least she came with clothes, I suppose. I suppose. Um, as I mentioned, the, the bodies of these dolls are quite small, so they're kind of a unique size, which makes it harder to kind of get clothes to fit them, which is why, you know, the dress that I've got to echo in is, is a bit big on her. But I'm sure there's something similar I could get, I could get for this one, and then they could actually be like a matching pair then. Um, so... Are you a fan of the Snap Girls? Snap Girls? Snap Stars? I have to be honest, I, I really like the posability of them. They seem to put a lot of thought into that. And, I mean, if you remember the photographs that I took of, of Echo originally, she does actually photograph very well. Again, because of the whole posability of them. And I think there's kind of ways that, with these dolls particularly, you could really sort of customise them quite easily. 
So they've got glass eyes in. I'm sure there's a way you can remove this thing from the top of the head and get the eyes out and change the eyes out. And obviously you can get them different wigs and things like that. So I think they're kind of interesting in, in that kind of way. Obviously these are not dolls that are still in production. But as I, as I mentioned, I, you know, I got this from AliExpress and she wasn't that expensive. So um, if you're interested, pop along to AliExpress and if you put Snap Styles in, I'm sure you'll get a very similar, if not the same person selling them. So yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Um, let me know what you think of the Snapstar dolls generally. I probably won't be getting any more, but I just kind of wanted, I wanted a friend really for Echo, someone who was her own size, because obviously, you know I don't like the dolls to get lonely. So please like the video if you've enjoyed it. Please, please share the video for anyone who likes dolly stuff. And I will see you in the next video. So until then, take care. Bye.